Alright everyone, this is Kevin the Full Metal Ginger and uh, we're finally going to do our Digipack bitching video. I uh, got our cliche metal opinions jar with a whole bunch of other shit in it. I need to clean this damn thing out. But it fits the bill. But like I said before, opinions are just fucking junk. Who cares? Alright, our title track today, or soundtrack today, is Nocturnity, with, um, fuck, I don't remember the name of the fucking album. Yeah, dude, yeah, dude, Harps of the Ancient Temples. Killer fucking album out of Greece. Thanks again to Canyon Bickle for turning me on to this. It's a fantastic album. Go get it if you do not have it. Alright, now for, uh, I want to put a whole goddamn quarter in this one. Because this shit pisses me off, so here it goes. Alright, now I understand that some labels may not have enough money, or the band not might not have enough to put it out themselves. So I can understand some digipacks. But some of these, like, from more prominent bands and more prominent labels, there's just no fucking excuse for it. Like, um, with this Majestic Downfall, I understand, man. I never even heard of Pulverized Records. I'm assuming they're pretty underground. I mean, this is pretty thin. You know, at least it's got a pocket for the CD, which I, I don't care for that. But, you know, you get all the scratches on it just from pulling it in and out. Pulling it in and out. So this I understand. But for something like from Peaceville and Dark Throne, there's just no fucking excuse for it. Look, I've not even had this this long, and it's already fraying right there. This That shit, there's just absolutely no excuse for it. I think my other one's doing that too. Yeah, this one's even worse. And that's aggravating. I mean, this shit does not hold up, you know, in any kind of storage thing like a CD shelf. You gotta keep it fucking hidden away from the world. These are almost the worst. Like this Archgoat one. I'm not knocking these bands, by the way. I'm just knocking the fucking people who made these digipacks. But with the fucking books stapled in there, come the fuck on. That's ridiculous. Couldn't help but flip through it too. <laughs> and here's another one. I'm sure a lot of you guys get this. Uh, here's my Marduk front swan. Front swan. Yes, I'm southern. But you put them in like uh, in between two jewel cases or something. I don't know if you can see it, but the spine starts to fucking twist. It should sit straighter like that, but it's got this fucking bow in it. Not really a bow, but it's just fucking it's twisting. So look, all you can do with the front of it, how it moves in and out like that. That's fucking bullshit. And uh, it's got this little bitch pocket. And of course, the book falls right out. Like, you couldn't put the book here, or the top of the pocket here? Come the fuck on, man. This is fucking shitty. Now, I know I'm just on here bitching about fucking... Why'd you buy the digi back then? Well... Sometimes you don't know. A lot of sites will tell you it's a digipack, but some some won't. Like if you buy this off of eBay or something, a lot of times it won't say what it is. It'll just say CD. So you're taking a chance. But I mean, you know, it's just, I don't know, it's just bullshit. Here's the worst one I have that I, that I can think of. But I went through and looked at everything. This is absolutely the worst one I have. This is a uh, Hate Eternal Phoenix amongst, amongst the Ashes. We have the spine completely crook, crooked. Phrase on top of the spine really badly. And a little bit on the bottom. Got it fucking tearing right here. And here's the most abominable part of this piece of shit. These kind of pockets with a CD in it. Like you couldn't glue a fucking tray in here. That's just unacceptable. Completely unacceptable. I, will, I feel like I'm going to tear this thing up just for pulling this CD out. I'm going to sit here and try to pull this out. And you have to be careful. Because if you're not, you're going to rip it apart. Look how much effort it's taken just to get this damn thing out of here. And maybe I'm nitpicking and being a little ridiculous. And I'm sure I am, but I know... A lot of you serious collectors out there deal with this shit all the fucking time, so I'm just saying what we're all thinking. 
So don't get on my case for it. I mean, that's absolutely pathetic. <coughs> so here I'm going to show you some examples of a good digipack. Now keep in mind, it's made with the same kind of paper, the same kind of CD trays, if either of these have them, but they're just built so much more sturdy. Here's uh, my autopsy with severed survival. Don't have any fray on the spine. And these all sit on the set on the shelf. As soon as I get them, I upload the CD on my iPod and put it right back. We've got a little bit of fray here. Okay, that's fine. But this thing is so much more sturdy. It's got girth to it. It's got some weight. The book is in here. Cool with that. The CDs have their own fucking trays. Mind-blowing. I mean, if you're going to do a digipack, do it fucking right. You know what I mean? I don't know if you actually consider this a digipack, but why can't bands do more shit like this? I mean, you can't tell me that the label and the fucking band didn't have this kind of fucking, you know, had all this money sitting around to do this. I mean, if they did, surely some of these major labels would. Or, you know, uh, this band is really blown up, but I mean, it's not like they're super overly popular outside of the underground scene. So, you're telling me Leviathan could pull off something like this? Look at this. Look how nice this is. And I'm not trying to plug Leviathan again, because everyone's already fucking done it. But it comes with so much shit. Plus the CD. And the CD's in its own little pocket. Which, I don't really care for this either, but still, at least put some fucking effort into it. But again, not to fucking... Plug Leviathan for the 10 billionth time. I'm not knocking Leviathan, I'm just saying. I don't want to fucking say what everyone's already said. You know. All of last fucking year. Did I show that in the fucking. Yes. God damn it. I talk about fucking putting effort into something and now I've done fuck shit up. But I mean, at least this is a very nice job of packaging. Here's my all-time favorite. Now, this is how you do a goddamn digi-pack. This is actually a digi-book, I would say. Here's an Emperor in the Night Side Eclipse, the 20th anniversary re-release. This is like a hardcover book. It is a hardcover book. This thing can take a beating and survive. So well packaged. Artwork looks great. I mean, this is fucking fantastic. Look at this shit. Beautiful, beautiful. And if you're going to staple a book in here, or glue in this case, eh, this is stapled. At least this is done right. I like with that arch coat book where if I fucking move that thing just right, I want to fucking rip the damn thing apart. This, I've got a nice fucking solid book to hold it while I'm sitting here flipping through the pages. You know, with this, I've got to sit here and, you know, Try not to grab the bottom of it as I tear it apart, or as I'm trying to flip. I can't even fucking. This is what I have to do to keep from ripping this thing out of here. But I mean, this may seem like a minor complaint, but it just it fucking drives me crazy. And I'm trying my best to steer clear of digipacks unless it's something like this, or Leviathan, or you know whatever, some really nice re-release. And I know I'm nitpicking and being a little ridiculous, so I'm sorry, but. That's just one thing in terms of collecting music that drives me absolutely fucking bananas. So, uh, let, let me know what you think. If you think I'm just being nitpicky and ridiculous, then let me know. That's fine. If you agree, let me know. That's cool, too. But uh, this, ugh, this makes me so fucking mad. Uh, and like I said... Sometimes you, you can sit there and say, Oh, don't buy digipacks. Well, fucking sometimes I don't know it's a digipack, so fucking sue me. But let me go know what you guys think. Send me a like, send me them comments, subscribe if you haven't, keep supporting extreme fucking metal.